What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel this Sunday afternoon, April 30th, taking a look once again at Casper Crypto slash Tether, so C-S-P-R-U-S-D-T. Uh, taking a look at the daily chart, maybe we'll go into a three-minute chart. Guys, welcome all of the new subscribers to the channel. Appreciate all 2,100 plus of guys and gals, investors, like-minded individuals. Guys, Casper getting a, another nice move here, knocking on some important resistance doors here. And it uh, looks like at any moment it could get a breakout higher. Um, the 6 p.m., so two hours from now on the East Coast, we will have the stock market futures open, which means the Bitcoin futures will be open for trading. And that might be the catalyst that sends Casper either higher or lower this afternoon, this evening. So we'll have to see if that can trigger some a um, little bit more excitement here, although we are currently up 2.71%. So guys, let's take a zoom into the chart. If you hear that, if you hear that beeping in the background, I am making some afternoon coffee. So we have resistance. If you're new, we'll do a quick recap, guys. We have resistance off of this last double bottom. So the double bottom came in at, uh, let's see, 334 was support, rallied all the way up, finding some short-term resistance at our levels along the way. So 415, 435, 466, not much resistance at the fives, and then or the low fives, and then we actually um, had this short-term blow-off top here through 571, and then closed below, and then we pulled back pretty sharply, finding support just above our 466, and then we have rallied. Once again, we find ourselves, Casper, crypto, Casper Cryptocurrency finds itself, guys, at the 571 resistance Today's high was 573. Our level is 571. So it is knocking on that door and it wants to get out above that. Is it ready? Is it time? It looks like it's closer than it's been in a long time. If we take a zoom out, let's close this, close the watch list up. You can see we found resistance. Um, we actually didn't quite get to that 571 level over on the 17th of October. We found resistance at the 524, 522, and ultimately the 509 level. Once again, resistance came in at 466, double bottom, rally, and guys, this thing looks poised for a big, big breakout. You could see over here, Support back in March of 22. Support for a short term in May. And then it broke big time, guys. I mean, that was a price drop within a couple days of, you know, 45, 47, 48% in just um, one, two, three, call it four or five days. So that area that was strong support has flipped and we're all the way back up there. It's taken about a year and it's getting ready to breach back in to that zone. And what I mean by that, it's getting ready to turn that what was once support is now resistance. It's getting ready to breach back into that zone up in here and hopefully turn it back into support and then allow the price to head higher. The trend right now still remains in an uptrend Heading higher here, we have a double bottom into a higher high. We have a higher low, and we're at a catalyst right now. Either one, the lower high is already in, and we're going to roll over and put in a lower low, which would put us down below 466, or we are going to get ready to make a higher high, which is what this video is based on and what we're talking about. We're waiting for that breakout above 571 above the high that took place on the 17th of April. That high was 610 and looking for that next higher high, guys. 
So we have plenty of targets above the market. 628, 672, 680, 727. Plenty of targets above the market. <clears throat> Based on this recent consolidation, guys, gets us a target of 681. So right here at that 680, 681 level from where we are trading at today, which is higher than yesterday. Roughly takes us up another, call it 19% from where we're at now, would be a full move, a full target hit based on this recent consolidation at that 680, 681. So this thing has been basing for a long time, a basically one year's time now. Back in this April, May time frame is when we broke down and we've been consolidating ever since this has not one not only one is this a let's put a box around this so it's easier to see this is a big big consolidation and we are actually outside at the upper end of the range i guess the upper end of the range would be a little higher it would be essentially up in here so we are at the top of this consolidation so it's important and what i mean by that is we're either one we're going to break out outside of that which is right where we're at right now we're sitting right there guys or if i can make this we're going to break back down within this range and stay within this box so we'll see bitcoin guys is that a critical moment here let's jump over to bitcoin real quick the bitcoin is trying it tried today it's creating this little um this little wedge here to the downside and it's trying to or it wants to i should say break out higher which would put it into some new new recent new recent highs above the high here of 3150 and it, so far today we did rally a little bit xrp was up bitcoin was up and you could see Today's high was 29,969, and we're at 29,298 right now. So, getting a little bit of a pullback. If we go to the three minute chart, you can see we rallied. I mean, look at that rally right there on the three minute chart, and then got pushed back down to one of our support levels down here at 29,143.22. So, we'll have to see if that holds heading into the evening here, or does it break lower? So it's definitely some resistance coming in above the market. So Bitcoin, assuming it can hold up well, I think it's only a matter of time until we break out higher. If it can't hold, then we could be, you know, the top could be in. This could be a lower high, and then we're heading lower into a lower low, which puts us below this low over here, right around that 20, let's see, 26.9 level. And that puts us back into the low 26, mid 20 fives so we're the uptrend still remains here but we're in a critical moment where it's either one it's going to break out higher giving us a higher high or two the lower high is already in and it's just getting ready to pull the plug and head lower depending on what this does it's going to carry over back into casper so we're keeping an eye on bitcoin as we usually do it's the elephant in the room usually what it does the rest of the market will follow suit with for the most part but casper looks very strong all the dips are getting bought there's support showing up at all of the sell-offs and it's at the top end of the range guys it's either gonna break out or it's gonna head back into this big consolidation so that's why we're watching bitcoin and a measured move for us based on the most recent consolidation like i said is a potential 20 percent move coming gets us up to that 680 681 this blue line on my chart and then if you throw the fibs on there which is what we did yesterday which is what we'll do right now the fibs get you a higher much higher price targets of course but the first fib level the 1618 gets you up there to a seven or so low to mid sevens so just a little bit higher than our target but still a solid move higher and then from there on much higher targets of course so 
anybody who has been buying this, who has bought this, I should say, down in the two eights or the two sixes, excuse me. We were doing videos all along here talking about nice support showing up, sitting very well. I think that would be an 80 plus percent, maybe even higher. Oh, now, okay. So we're a hundred plus percent off that. So very nice. So keep your eye, guys, on what's right now resistance, which is the 571 for Casper. Looking for a solid breakout above that. We'll see if it takes place. We'll see if Bitcoin can hold itself together. And that should kind of tell us the story here for the rest of the market and Casper. Guys, welcome to the channel. Let me know down in the comments if you are interested to know what I am buying and selling. I might open up a patreon and share what i am buying and selling regarding the cryptocurrency markets bitcoin bitcoin futures stuff along that line let me know and um go ahead and write share down in the comments if you want to know more about that all right guys you have a good sunday night evening 6 p.m futures open we're looking forward to that got a lot of working orders in the market so we'll see if we can get those filled or if they have a big gap up. All right, guys, take care.